in the name of Allah, the most gracious and the most merciful. Assalamu alaikum everyone. I am Zohar Mushtaq, student of Electronics Department, University of Engineering and Technology, Texla, affiliated with Syndicate of Embedded and Electronics Design. Today I am going to be speaking to you about my research paper on monocardiogram based method for the classification of coronary artery disease. Here are the co-authors for this research paper. Contents. The contents of my presentation are background, methods and material, results and conclusion. Background. In background, we will discuss about the introduction, motivation, literature survey and aims and objectives. Introduction. Due to coronary artery disease, there is decrease in the flow of blood through the heart which weakens its and result in the production of weak murmurs. In DVCAT, right coronary artery dominant proximal RCA shows 70 to 80 percent stenosis, mid and distal right coronary artery shows mild plaque. When three big arteries in the heart are blocked with atherosclerotic plaque, then it is called DVCAT. In single vessel coronary artery disease, major coronary vessel contains 75 percent or greater stenosis. Motivation The deadliest disease in the world is coronary artery disease and 8.8 million people died in 2015 with the highest percentage death of 15.5%. According to the latest WHO data published in 2018, coronary heart disease death in Pakistan is about 20.8% of total deaths. An estimated 30 to 40% of all deaths in Pakistan are due to cardiovascular disease. That claims not less than 0.2 million lives every year in the country while coronary heart disease is now the leading cause of death in Pakistan and at least 12 Pakistani dies every hour due to heart attack. And also classification of care using PCG will open new field of diagnosis and we can achieve high accuracy results using this technique. Literature survey. In past, most of the researchers classified the CAD with good accuracy, but they use ECG, not PCG. Like in 2017, 95.11% accuracy achieved for the classification of CAD using CNN. Again, in 2017, 95% accuracy scored by using MFCC and wavelet analysis. In 2015, by using ECG signals and Energy concentration measures and other techniques 93.1% accuracy achieved for the classification of CAD. In 2018, scored an accuracy of 82.6% by using power spectral density and fraction dimensions. Aims and objectives Developing a system which is low cost and affordable for all countries. Designing such framework which has more accuracy and efficiency than previous materials and methods. Designing an apparatus which has less exposure of patients and more safe than typical medical instruments. Material and Methods Methodology In methodology, we have four steps. First step is data acquisition. Then we pre-process the original data set. In third step, we extracted the features of pre-processed signals. In last step, we fed the extracted features into classified and, acqu and acquired accuracy results. Data acquisition. We did not use the online data for classification in our project for data acquisition. We went to different hospitals and acquired the data set of different patients using the setup we designed. Signals were recorded from different positions of heart. While recording, all the subjects were in relaxed position for recording signals smoothly. The apparatus for data acquisition consists of a stethoscope, a microphone, and a sound card. This setup is attached to the laptop and using Python, we save the signals of PCG in dot wave form. The sampling frequency of the signals is 44.1 kHz and its sampling time is 10 seconds. Dataset has three classes. We have 203 dvcat samples, 197 svcat samples, and 205 TV card samples in total. Here we can see the original signals for DV CAD, SV CAD, and TV CAD. Pre processing. For pre processing, 
we have used EMD for removing the noise due to the environment, sensor and lung sound infused into it. EMD decomposing a signal without leaving the time domain. The complex signal with multiple frequencies is divided into a set of different functions with frequencies that die away slowly. Set of functions are known as intrinsic mode functions IMFs. Original data is represented in the form of some of IMFs that are decomposed. Here we have the preprocessed signal for each CAD class. Feature exception, we have done a lot of trials by using different combinations of multiple features and scored the best accuracy by using MFCC and LTB. In the beginning, we have used 69 features and at the end, we finalized only MFCC and acquired the best accuracy. In signal processing, the MEL frequency capstrum is a representation of the short-term power spectrum of a sound based on linear cosine transform of a log power. The MFCC feature extraction technique basically includes winding the signal, applying the DFT, taking the log of the magnitude and then wrapping the frequency on a MEL scale, followed by the applying the inverse DCT. Local binary pattern LTP or the extension of local binary pattern LBP. Unlike LBP, it does not threshold the pixel into 0 and 1, rather it uses the threshold constant to threshold into 3 values. Classification For classification, we have used Canon classifier. In, in the Canon classification, the output is a class membership. The majority vote of the neighbor decide the class or category of any object. Canon is much faster algorithm than others such as port vector machine or linear regression algorithm. There is, this is because there is less training time needed for the Canon algorithm. Figure shows the confusion matrix of Canon in which we have the accuracies for each class of CAD. The overall accuracy for the classification of CAD disease is 90.1%. Results we have used different classifiers for different combination of multiple features, but we have accomplished the best accuracy by using KNN. The MFCC and LTP features are fed into this classifier and scored an accuracy of 90.1%. Here is the comparison of different classifier by using the MFCC and LTP. In cubic SVM, we have an average accuracy of 87.8%. In ensemble bag tree, the average accuracy is 84.5% and in SVM quadratic, it is 85.1%. So the highest accuracy is achieved in KNN. The proposed methodology classifies the DFCAT, SVCAT, TVCAT with the accuracy of 90.9%, 90.1%, which is the highest accuracy for CAD classification using PCG. After many experimentation with combination of different feature sets and classifiers, we concluded that the MFCC combined with the LTP and Canon with 10 cross validation gives the best results. Here is the comparison of our proposed method with other papers. We infer that our murmur can be classified by using analysis algorithm and automatic detection techniques. There is no work done on the classification of CAD using PCG. So this is an innovation toward the diagnosis of CAD. It also helps doctors in diagnosis disease rapidly. Our techniques has achieved an accuracy of 90.1% for the classification of CAD without segmentation in PCG. The segmentation of signal into diastole and distole and then into S1 and S2 is comparatively a tough task. That is why this method is more accurate, have less computational time, inexpensive and less complex as compared to previous method. And other advantage of our proposed technique, our, our previous studies is that they use mostly online data set from PhysioNet which is collected from expensive setup but we designed our own setup which is affordable and portable. A sound system can be easily contaminated with the environmental noise but our technique classifies the data accurately with less error. Moreover, the system we designed do not need a specific environment or expensive equipment to acquire data which is affordable for everyone and can diagnose this deadly disease at early stage can change the fate of many people. Here we have some references.
थैंक यू सो मच एनी क्वेश्चन